lives at work. In the reception area, she sees a sports bag that's been tucked under a chair. None attempted. It looks like we could have been hit from side. It's not obviously suspicious. There are no wires, circuit boards, or liquids that could indicate a bomb. But it's not a typical business bag. An unattended bag or packet is more than likely harmless, but never assume that it is. The HOPS procedure helps you decide whether you're looking at a piece of lost property or a suspicious bag. ...if she knows who owns the bag, but she doesn't. What do you think Danny should do now? Even though this bag is not obviously suspicious, it's still unattended and unusual. So Danny should not ignore it or wait for an owner to turn up or pick it up. The process in her organization is to report suspicious bags to security, who will, if they confirm it's suspicious, clear the area, cordon it off and call emergency services. Danny has security personnel who deal with suspicious bags. So the guidance for her at work and elsewhere is this. Be alert. Use hops. Don't touch. Look for the owner. Report it. Don't use your phone close to the bag. Remember that if you think something is suspicious, say something. Danny had a security department who would deal with the bag. But if you are responsible, you will apply a protocol like this. Confirm that the bag is suspicious using HOT and double checking if anyone owns it or knows about it. If you are convinced that the bag is suspicious, don't touch it. Clear the area and move people to a safe distance. Cordon off the area. Get out of sight of the bag and find a safe place to shield behind. Keep away from glass windows. Communicate with someone in charge of security. Don't use a radio or mobile phone within 15 meters of the bag. You may then be required to call 999. Control the area. Don't let anyone enter the area and do keep hold of any witnesses to help police. Criminals can use letters and parcels to deliver explosive or incendiary devices, needles or blades, chemical or biological contamination, or radiological material. Explore this image to find out what you need to look for. When you're ready, move on to find out how to handle a package you feel suspicious. seriously and follow our procedures. These include Don't panic. Don't move the package and don't try to clean up. Move people away and get them to wash exposed skin with soap and water and make a list of their names. Direct people away from the area. Report the incident immediately to someone who looks after building security. If you have to hand a lot of mail, Follow these guidelines to help you stay as safe as possible. Try not to disturb the contents of an envelope when you open it. Do not blow into envelopes or shake or pour out contents. Keep hands away from those of mouth. Wash your hands after handling mail. And follow our processes so, and procedures. Uh,